Jackson Profar, you guys, was supposed to be a star. He was supposed to be a player that you would say is one of the best players in the MLB currently. But he's not really lived up to that. As he's not been having the stats we saw him have in the minor leagues. Some of them have been better. Others have not been. But today, you guys, I'm going to talk about Jerickson Profar and why 2020 needs to be his breakout year. Before I start, though, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell and leave a like on the video. We have been getting subs really quickly, so if you're new out here, please make sure to subscribe. But without further ado, let's get into it. So, let me just show you all this. So, this is Jerickson Profar being first on MLB.com's top 100 MLB prospect list. And there are going to be some other names that you're going to realize, like Dylan Bundy, Oscar Tavares, rest in peace, Will Myers, Tyron Walker. So other guys that you know, some of them may be trash, other may be pretty good. But Profar, you guys are probably wondering how he did in the minor leagues. Well, in the minor leagues, Profar was not the guy that you would say... Is, I mean, he was not the guy who's going to be having, like, crazy stats. But he was the guy who was the player who hit for average. As his best year, I would say, is most probably 2012, when he had a 281 batting average with 14 home runs and 62 RBIs. Then in 2013, that was the year he was ranked first. I mean, he was the problem with Profar. Even though he was the number one prospect in baseball... He was kind of an inconsistent player. By that, I mean, for example, there were some years in the minors when he only played about 37 games or about 42, and then others when he played at like 126. So, yes, you could tell me it's because he a, a bunch of call-ups and call-downs, and you're not wrong. But pro far, I mean, the only thing we really need to know is that According to LMB.com in 2013, they said that he was the number one prospect. Now, let's see what the media has to say. People from the internet, what they think Profar is going to do in 2020. So, according to BaseballReference.com, they say that Profar is going to have a 238 batting average with 19 home runs and 67 RBIs with 8 steals and getting caught stealing once with 48 walks and 85 strikeouts. So, I mean... I guess you could say that's a good prediction, but that's all I have to say there. That's what BaseballReference.com thinks. So, what's a problem here after what I've said? I would say it's the batting average. So, what Profar really needs to fix is the batting average. Because, remember what I said earlier. In the minors, Profar had a high batting average. So, if he could make that batting average at least 280, close to 300 like he did in the minors then that's already a huge upgrade. And recently, ever since 2018, Profar has gained pop in that bat as he's starting to hit 20 home runs a season as in the past two years, he's hit 20 home runs. But here's the difference. In 2018, he had a 254 batting average. And in 2019, he had a 218 batting average. Now, the problem is not that he's striking out, but it's just that he's not getting the hits when he's supposed to. And... This is going to be his seventh year in the major leagues. And the reason why I think Profar needs to have a breakout year this year is because this is his seventh year in the MLB, right? He's turning 27, and 27 is only the age when you're in your prime. And, well, it's like in the middle of your prime. So Profar really needs to prove the MLB this year that he's the star everyone thought he would be. And not just that, but he's on the right team to do that. The San Diego Padres. The Padres are a young team who have a bright future. And if Profar can make that future look brighter with the way he could do this year, then the Padres could look really good. Now, here's a question that I've been thinking. Are the San Diego Padres good enough to make the playoffs? I don't think they're ready right now. But in the future, maybe in a year or two, when they make the playoffs, this is where Profar can really prove, and prove himself. And like I said... Profar really needs to prove himself this year because if he doesn't, then he'll just be known. I guess you could say he'll be known as a bust, kind of, because when you're first, when you're ranked first prospect in Major League Baseball, and then you have stats like this, well, it's not the best. And it's not like Profar's played a lot before. In 2014, he didn't even play. 
And then after the most games he played from 2012 to 2017 was 90. And he didn't really prove himself. So Profo was a player before 2018. He was a player who just go up and down. He'd get called up and called down. But now that Profo has officially claimed a spot in the Major League roster, he's got to show the MLB he's what everyone thinks he is. And he's got to stay healthy. He's got to not get injured. He's got to... I, he's got to do everything everyone thought he would do in the minors bring that average up and now that you have power imagine having juiced baseballs i mean come on they're juiced baseballs right so imagine having that many home runs and having that big of a batting average so profar could be looking really really good if he can just prove everyone that so profar at the end of the day what he really needs to do is that he needs to prove the mlb he needs to prove every single person out there who the haters and the people who believe in him. He's got to prove them all that he's the player everyone thought it would be. You know, now that you have power, that player who can hit 20 home runs a season. That player who can have a batting average close to 300. And that player that is not one of the best players in baseball, but could try to be the most underrated one. That is going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe for new. But I will see you all next time. I'm out.